So in that vein of what just happened as far as like the U.S. is falling behind because of the CBDCs, here's the exact opposite of what's happening. The digital yuan is now accepted in gas stations in Chinese cities. So congratulations, China. You're kicking the tar out of everybody. So Chinese city uh, Shenzhen seems to have kicked the launch of the digital yuan into a frenzy after we discovered that some gas stations in the city have started accepting the digital currency. The report made it known that the state-owned petroleum firm, Guangdong Petroleum, pretty sure I nailed it, is at the helm of the affairs of this implementation. Gas stations who are currently accepting digital yuan currency have a barcode which citizens just have to scan to make their payment. And just to be crystal clear, this is a central bank issued currency. Uh, they have been working with this for uh, over a year now. They rolled it out into certain cities, Shenzhen being one of them. I think it's actually that, that's the only part and, and in certain provinces. So uh, this is actually live. It's actually being used. They're proving that it can be done. And uh, of course, in China, it's just all about control, more control, more control. I'm not going to get into that whole discussion. The big thing to me is uh, they pulled it off. They pulled it off and they did it and they did it before anybody else did it. So lastly, it states uh, the state-owned petroleum firm also made it known that it would be looking to spread the services to other self-operating gas stations before this month ends. The firm noted that the level of feedback it had gotten from the small-scale implementation uh, has been largely positive as the process was praised for being fast and efficient. And you better believe it because, look, all you got to do is just scan a barcode and off you go. And then everything's just, it's in this little app and uh, they can just uh, check to see what you're spending, when you're spending, where you're spending. Of course, fantastic control. Again, don't care about that. I'm just telling you that, hey, they got it done. So my final thoughts are this. Um, this is how I see it. Uh, this is a national security issue for the United States. And uh, I mean, I know you may not be in the United States, maybe in Canada, Europe, Australia, India, or places like that. Maybe you're watching from China, I don't know. But it's just a reminder to everybody. And I think this is one of the things that uh, Tarbert is really thinking about the CFTC chairman we just talked about, uh, the SEC chairman, uh, probably people higher up in the uh, government, uh, all the way up to who knows. They realize that they have to start doing something because if this keeps happening, which uh, it will, it'll only spread faster and faster. Uh, you can circumvent sanctions and tariffs and everything else if you can just use your own digital currency between other countries. Why do you need the, uh, the, the US dollar as a reserve currency? What's the point? I've got this digital yuan, i got this digital euro, i got this digital pound, I don't really care about this stuff. And we can uh, complete transactions between countries and our own native currency because we all have central bank digital currency. So um, we don't need your dollar. And uh, it's just one of those things where uh, this could actually happen. And, um, you know, in all honesty, uh, maybe it should. Because if I'm a country, I don't want to be beholden to anybody else. I want to be my own sovereign state. So why do I need you? And before I get off on that tangent, let's move on to the next section. But before I go, um, let me know what you think in the comment section about this one. Uh, this is an interesting case and it'll be uh, ever developing. All right, let's move on.